Hello guys, Ivano here. Today I want to talk about the new Substance Painter labeling for Maya. This is the first iteration of the new Python based plugins from Substance Painter and also is the first version that supports the new Udin workflow. Since the Adopt team fully changed how exports and plugins work inside Painter, I had to do some major changes so the way it works is a little different from the previous versions. Still, I try to keep it simple and as similar as possible to how it has worked so far. Also consider that there are still some limitations for Python plugins, the main one being that you cannot export geometry from Painter yet. Hopefully this will be added soon enough by the Adobe team. So let's get started. From the Gumroad page, download the C version 2.1.0 and extract it. Inside, you'll find a folder called Show SP Link. Copy it and paste it in the Python plugin folder from Painter, located in your documents, algorithmic, substance painter, Python, plugins. Please make sure you are using this path, otherwise it won't work. Then open Painter. If you install the plugin correctly, you will either see the icon of the live link on the right side of the UI, or the window already docked somewhere in the UI. Now we need to verify the license and install the Maya client. To verify the license, open the plugin and go to the configuration tab, paste your license in the key field and click verify. If successful, the email will be filled and a success message will appear in the log. Now, to install the Maya client, select the Maya version and this will automatically set the recommended path to install the add-on. In my case, I will select 2020 and click the install button. We now can see a success message appear in the log to inform us that the Maya client was installed correctly. We can verify it by clicking the folder button, the installation should be under scripts, then in prefs shelves, we should also be able to see a new shelf added for the plug. To finalize the Maya installation, now we need to check if it is working. So we open Maya, and we should be able to see a new shelf called Shell SP Link. We click the icon button, and a new window will appear. If the window isn't showing up, verify the command language is set to Python and save the shelf. Instead of checking every field of the plugin, I think it's better to see how it works in a usual workflow. Let's open Maya and Painter. In order to connect them, you need to open the plugin window in Maya. And as soon as you open it, the apps will be connected. And when you close it, it will be disconnected. In Painter, we can see the ID of the Painter instance, the available apps, in this case only Maya is available, the available renders for the app. For Maya, we have V-Ray, RenderMan, Redshift, Octane, and Arnold, and the presets for each render. And on Maya, we can see the Maya instance ID and the available Painter instances. As you can see, each other IDs match. Once you select the render and the preset, all the available maps from that preset will appear in the channels tab. The maps that are shown in the main section are the basic maps needed for a PBR material, and the ones in optional can be used depending on the material, for example, emissive and opacity. Let's begin by sending the geo from Maya to Painter. All we need to do is decide the normal mode to be used, the initial resolution, the tangent space, if we want to include cameras, and the workflow, either default or UDIMS. Now we select the geo and the camera and click send. If we have not opened a project in Painter, a new project will be created. If something is already open, Depending on what we have in the general section of the configuration tab, it can either do nothing and inform an error in the log, or automatically close the current project and open a new one. Now with the Geom Painter, let's add this lava material and enable the emissive map. Next, we need to decide how we're going to export the maps. First, we select the renderer, in this case Octane, and the preset, standard, since I'm not using Udins right now. Then we select the output path. If you had not selected anything, the default export path from an algorithmic will be selected. Then the format and the bit depth, the base size of all the maps, the padding, and the dilation if needed. These settings will be the default settings to be used by all the texture sets, but thanks to the new export system of Painter, we can add some extra configurations. To add these extra configurations, we add rules. For example, this rule is of type format and is changing the image bit depth of the normal map from 8 to 16. We can add as many rules as we want with the plus button, 
and they can be applied at GDIM level, at map level, or at texture set level. And the rules can change the image format, the size, and the padding. Once we have configured everything, we can just click the Save button to keep the configuration, even if we close Painter. Finally, we select the texture sets we want to export and click Send. As you can see, the material was created. Let's check the render. All is working as expected. I'll do an extra video explaining UDIMs, the different shader networks, and how the rules work. So don't forget to subscribe.